Hello, my name is David Kersley, a certified SolidWorks application engineer with Go Engineer. In this video, we will be dis demonstrating zonal section views. We've all have to create section views. And when we do, we just click on the section view icon at the top of our screen. And when we activate it over on the left, our default is set to planar. And when we set to planar, as we roll down the prop feature manager here, we can select where we want it. We can either do one section, two sections, or three sections. So in this case, we're probably familiar with this. We can set the front plane and we can drag and drop. We also have our reverse direction button. If I pick it, I'm cut changing the orientation in which the mid, uh, plane is cutting through the part. If I want to add a section number two, I pick on section two. And in this case, I'm going to add a top plane. And, and you'll see that everywhere this planes in the planar section view, everywhere that that plane cuts through the part, it is actually eliminating all of the material. And if I pick section three, and I, let's pick a right plane here. So now we can see that we've cut this part almost down to nothing, right? And, and that's, that might be what you're looking for, right? But maybe I want to just look into a tiny window of the part without eliminating the whole part. And to do that, we have something inside of section called zonal section. And so let's use the same three planes that we just used. Front plane, we're going to use our top plane, and we're going to use this right plane. And in this front plane, I'm going to drag this guy back through. And you'll, you'll see on my screen before, it was eliminating all of the part. But what's happening with the zonal is it's creating like a bounding box. It's not like a bounding box. It is a bounding box. And if you want to see it, just pick in this little intersection zone right here at the top of your property man feature manager. So if I pick in it, you can see I've got a little light blue window of this bounding box. And, and that bounding box is being defined by the planes that we picked. We picked our front, top, and right. And you can see that there's one plane, and there's the other plane, and there's the right plane going through. And this bounding box is sitting here. If I drag my arrow, I can cut through more of the part, and I can create a little more of that section view. And I'm going to hit green check OK. Again, I've just used the front, the top, and then the right planes, same as we did on planar. And again, if I wanted to see that little blue bounding box, just pick on this little box here, and I'll hit my green check. And now if we look at our section view, we didn't eliminate the whole model down to one little tiny block. We can now look into our part and see how all the parts are interfacing. Let's go back and look at this one more time and there are all of our properties over here. If I want to keep the, sec the uh, keep cap color, when I do that, you'll notice that where the front plane cuts through, it is creating all of those edges in blue. Anywhere that the top plane is cutting and it's putting a green color on the face, and this one's putting a red. If I want to edit that color and make it a purple or a magenta, and I hit OK, you'll notice that everywhere that this plane is cutting through that model in that little bounding box, it's going to put a little uh, magenta face on it, and you can see that. And some people like that, and some people prefer not to have those colors on. And if I want to turn it off, just go to my section view. I'm going to turn off that keep cap color. And this is the view that I want to save and I want to keep. So now I want to save this view as a, a, a reference so that I can import this view into my drawing. So I'm going to come down to the very bottom and I'm going to hit save. And let's call this zonal ZS1 for zonal section one. I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to exit my section view. And now if I want to quickly get back in that section view, if I hit the space bar, there is my saved view and there is ZS1 and I'm back into my view. This has been David Kersley with Go Engineer. I hope you found this SolidWorks tutorial helpful. Please check out our Go Engineer YouTube library or visit our website to enroll in classes near you at GoEngineer.com.